Yeah, hello and welcome back to part 4 of the Terminator series. Um, today I'll be painting the details, and that means the gold and um, the parchment stuff. So there are two purity seals and um, quite a lot of gold stuff because it's an elite choice. First of all, I'm going to clean up my mess here. And then I'll be preparing myself to answer questions in the chat if there are any answers. <laughs> to answer questions in the chat if there are any questions. Sorry. And of course, Mr. Keto is here too to help me painting, like always. And this um, color chaos here is because I got kind of carried away yesterday painting um, this little guy here. A chapter surf or blood troll. And I also um, started working on a sanguinary priest in my uh, sanguinary priest team for the flesh layers. black silver and I guess that's it so far. Zoom here kind of. Okay, here we go. So here we actually are and can start the painting again. Moistening the wet palette again. Something is wrong. Okay, yeah, it's, no, it's better. Hey, oh Lord. Sorry. And hi, Anton. Sorry, I was cleaning up my stuff. Um, I'm fine. And hey, um, Lord. Sorry. today, and hi, Anton. I'll be finishing the Terminator. So, that's where we are at the moment. Focus, camera, focus. Clicking my wrist. So that's where we are at the moment. Um, today I'll be painting the gold and um, the parchment, like I said. After my cat stops eating my hand. It's good. Be good. <laughs> okay. Um, I'll be starting with the gold. 
and for that I'll uh, take Retributor Gold as a base color. Since there are um, pretty pretty small areas to paint, um, I won't be using uh, one of my normal uh, metal brushes, um, which are kind of fucked up most of the times. Um, okay. I'll be using one of my good brushes, and by that I mean the size zero uh, Luprica, uh, Lupri brush. Um, how's the music um, sound volume? Is it too loud? Is it too quiet? Is it okay? Mixing it again with some water and of course not well handled is it, but I'll take Lamia Medium. Okay, thanks, Anton. So, what are you guys painting? Or what are you doing at the moment? To put it like that. Stop the licking. <clears throat> ah, case time very nice. So you're doing almost the same, I guess it's not red or the blackish part, but still. Terminator stays Terminator. Good armor. Good inbun. Good damage. Um, I'll be painting my brush a lot more than I um, usually do because I want to protect um, the bristles from spreading. And like I said before, the metal colors are kind of aggressive in terms of destroying bristles. There's gold on your fur and in your fur. Okay, so you see those small skulls there? I'll uh, paint them gold too. I wasn't sure what color I would go in, I would be going for. Um, I was thinking about silver or white or something like that, but I think gold is the right color in this case. Ähm, jo, ist alles dran, was ähm, Details hat. Also das heißt, die ganzen kleinen Extras. Gold, ähm, die Purity Seals und ähm, was ich jetzt sonst noch so finde über die Mini. Aber im Prinzip Gold und Purity Seals, dann ist er fertig. Oh yeah, um, just one more detail I forgot to, uh, to tell you about. Um, yesterday I was painting um, two other minis, or partially, 
to other minis that was why I wasn't streaming and um, while doing that I decided um, the bluish uh, lines on my edges look okay but they miss something and so I added um, dot highlights and dot highlights is just small dots in um, a pretty bright color and because I didn't want to go to white because um, that would have been a little too much um, in terms of contrast I used Fenrisian Grey and dot highlighted there. Ah, uh, well, in terms of Terminators, uh, my favorite pattern is the um, Hatteros pattern, actually, because um, they they look great. The original models um, are missing an abdomen, so um, I had to elongate mine. I elongate my mini, so sorry. Um, but I love them. Those are great. And my second favorite one is um, the... I think it's... Is it Maximus pattern? Yes. Um, so the Maximus pattern. And my least favorite is the Cataphracte, actually, because um, they are so small and a little too Romanesque for me. Hey, Mara. Have a good lunch break. Okay, so um, the dot highlights I was telling about. I hope the camera focuses it. Yeah. So um, just on the outermost points on the faceplate and um, the corner edges of the uh, the gauntlets, I made small dots uh, with Fenrisian Grey. Okay, so the goal is in. Yeah. If you like the Roman aesthetics, that's absolutely great. I mean, not my kind of thing, uh, not on my um, Flesh Terrors at least. I mean, if I would play um, Ultramarines, sure, why not? But not with my uh, Blood Angels. Okay, I will prepare the Ironbreaker because we're on the details. I'll paint the rivets. And I'll do that with um, Ironbreaker. Again, just small dots. Don't need much color there. And yes, I paint the rivets. Um, I mean, sure, normally they would be um, in the same color like the armor, because why shouldn't you um, just paint over them? But I kind of like it for the aesthetics of my Flash Terrors. I also painted all the rivets on my um, vehicles, as you can see on my Land Raider. Um, and the other stuff. So the Reno, the Executioner, and what else I painted quite a lot. And it's not that much of extra work, in my opinion. Um, when I'm painting this color right now, I can do some small highlights on my normal silver parts. That means on the rebreather grill on the face mask, face plate, sorry. as well as those rims around the upper lenses, which I'll be painting later on.
And again, before anyone asks, because I get this a lot, um, that's one of the terminators of the um, Terminator Hero Packs. And I should point the camera a little more upwards. I think um, Primaris are fine with their aggressors, so there's still something special about uh, Firstborn in terms of the Terminators, and um, Primaris have their um, Darkness 5 guys, so a fair mix. If you want Toughness 5, go for Primaris, if you want armor without end and a, um invulnerable save, go for Firstborn. I like how they um, how they're actually doing it. The minis in the moment or, or at the moment, sorry. Order. German words in between. Uh, Model-wise, yeah, sure. I mean, the problem with the Terminator armor uh, in terms of the fluff is um, they are quite old and um, with that they should be fitted to normal-sized Space Marines. And since Primaris are 6 inches plus plus bigger than normal Marines, um, those relics won't fit, I guess. Of course, I just painted right onto my knee pad here. Correct this. It's just another way to get scratches on your mini, by the way. Uh, yes, Belisarius is a genius, but um, so far he obviously didn't uh, recreate Terminator armors because their patterns are lost or something like that. And maybe because he thinks um, his patterns are better. Thanks, Anton. I mean, I'm, I'm doing my best. I can tell you almost everything about the fluff. So if you have any questions, this can be a fluff video with a painting dude from Germany in the background. Um, or it can be a tutorial. So you decide where we go. If you're wondering what I'm doing, uh, my Unresian Grey doesn't shut anymore. So I have to open it up and in the rim. Like that. Wasn't that pleasing? It was. Sorry, I'll be back painting in a second. Okay, here we go. Better. Like new. And Mr. Keto has Fenrisian Grey in his tail. About Gabriel or about Emmett? That's not true about um, Belisarius. Have you read the, um, the books or his last books? Because um, I, his character is great. It really is.
Okay, um, so yeah. Well, Gabriel Seth is um, chapter master for about, I think by now, about 200 years um, of the Flesh Terrors. Um, he took the mantle of the chapter master from his um, predecessor. And he also, um, yeah, sort of took um, a chapter that was in a pretty, pretty bad spot in the opinion of the Imperium. The Inquisition was um, taking an eye on the Flesh Terrors because of rumors um, that told um, they were killing innocents and stuff like that. But um, actually, Flesh Terrors never killed innocents by... Um, by the will. Mostly um, the innocents have been in the way of the death company and the death company of course thinks um, that those innocents on the battlefield um, are horrors and that's why they kill them. Well, however, um, he is fighting against those rumors and um, he tried to recreate the chapter um, in a better light. What was um, pretty difficult because there is not enough or there were not enough um, uh, reserves or troops that um, were able to refill the chapter so he decided in the end um, he will keep his chapter in uh, in battle so he went from one um, front to the other and um, held his guys in check by um, holding them close to the enemy but with a call from uh, Baal and the uh, almost destruction of Baal. Um, he saw a chance to um, give them a hero's death, so um, he wanted actually to lead his chapter to battle, uh, to die in glory, and um, yeah, leave a uh, let's say a positive uh, review in terms of uh, imperial citizens by their actions in the end, but he survived, the Flesh Terror survived other than other chapters because they are fucking great, and um, they got refilled by Primaris. Um, Seth was not a big friend of the Primaris in the beginning, but as soon as he realized um, that the Primaris were not just Ultramarines in red armor, um, he started to respect them, and by that I mean um, he was fighting with them in the Angel's Halo. There was an operation um, started by uh, Dante in the Imperium Nihilus, Nihilus sorry, uh, to reconquer um, the northern fringe of the Imperium from the Tyranid fleets. And during this operation, um, Seth realized that the Primaris Marines also were flawed, not like um, Call said in the beginning, um, that they were flawless. And that's when he realized they were real blood angels or real flesh terrors in that case. There is one little story in um, a, a White Dwarf uh, where he introduces uh, one of the new primaris uh, captains to the chapter and um, well, let's say um, his his first minutes in the new chapter were not the most pleasant because uh, Seth was kind of smacking his face but yeah some people say um, that's because uh, Seth hates him I say that's um, Seth, pretty strange way to um, show the Primaris their respect, or this captain his respect. Because the captain survived, um, the captain held his uh, rage in check, and in the end, Seth even, uh, even says, welcome to the Flesh Terrors, so yeah. But overall, um, Seth is not a lunatic or something like that. Um, he is always on the brink of the Black, uh, black Rage, like his whole chapter. He holds in a check. Um, he was also uh, tried to um, get rid of some, yeah, I think two or three times. And he always um, fought his way out, even against an Eversa, uh, Eversor uh, assassin once. 
in uh, the book Blood and the Machine, I think. Without weapons, he killed it. And used its exploding body to um, get free of his prison. Thanks, Mahada, at, at the red. <laughs> I love painting red. Hey, Woodbury. Welcome back. Uh, yeah, well, he didn't really accept his uh, his fate. He wanted to um, to get his um, reputation straight again. So, um, without all the um, yeah the the violence against the uh, the civilians or stuff like that, and um, in the end, he he kind of did it. In the devastation of Baal, he even got. Um, the opportunity to uh, drink on the blood of some of the um, innocents, let's say innocents, in a ritual with the, um, I think, the, what it was of, uh, the Knights of Blood, and um, he refused. He showed them that um, the flesh tears are better than that. And yes, it's kind of the, the Space Marine way. If it doesn't work, I heroically. So, yeah, I don't think it's that at, uh, atypical. The atypical part is um, that he didn't get any um, any more recruits because they hadn't um, enough gene seed for about, um, I think, 500 years. And the flesh terrors um, were merely getting um, four full companies when they... Um, assembled their, um, their chapter. There are even more specials. I mean, um, normally um, the first company is full of uh, veterans. The Flesh Terrors can't do that because there are not enough Space Marines to um, become all veterans or like other people like me. Think about it. Um, they are all kind of veterans. So, oh, that's the wrong water. Um, that means and that's a fact. All flesh terrors are um, told how to use all the weapons. So a normal tactical marine can also use um, all the devastator weapons, and um, he can all, uh, also use um, all the assault weapons. That's yeah, that makes them a little more versatile. Yeah, uh, well, the innocent part is um, more like um, innocent in terms of chaos. It, I think they uh, sort of drank the um, the helping hand blood there from uh, uh, regiments they try to uh, fight off the enemy. Ah, that's true. Um, Edo. Uh, they are not barbarian. They are sons of Sanguinius. They they see themselves as sons of Sanguinius and they um, not not only they, I think um, many others too uh, see them as the um, the most honest chapter of the flesh, uh, of the Blood Angels because Blood Angels try to keep their bloodlust uh, secret and um, try to yeah appear noble all the time and the flesh terrors uh, just do their shit so when they are in rage you see they are in rage when they drink blood they fucking drink blood they don't try to uh, to to look noble they are by their acts they are some sort of the tragic heroes of the uh, of the blood angels and that's what makes them great in my in my opinion And they don't like um, all the bling that Blood Angels normally have. That's why I used to paint, um, or that's why I try to paint um, as less gold as I can. 
So um, you see the chest eagles on my um, flesh terrors are always black, not gold. Um, I don't um, blue the the special trinkets with all the, the gems on them and stuff like that. Ah, no. I don't think they have anything to do with Angorn. It's pretty pretty obvious that they are uh, sanguineous uh, gene um, inheritors because uh, they, or Seth especially, um, even got one of uh, sanguineous feathers and uh, with a feather uh, he held the bloodlust and the black rage in check um, during the devastation of Baal. Who was pretty nice, even as um, the uh, corn demons came from the warp and sort of fucked up everything. Um, yeah, well, they they didn't fall to the Black Rage, other than the um, Knights of Blood. And in the end, the Knights of Blood, being Sons of Sanguinius too, um, sacrificed themselves to um, enable Seth and the other Flesh Terrors to get uh, away from Baal Secundus. And to come down to Baal to help uh, um, 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 Dante. Sorry for all the arms and arms, but painting and talking is not my strength. The Lamenters are great. I mean, they were great. And then they refused to come to Baal when Dante called. They fucked up, in my opinion. Yeah, and I think normally I should play the Lamenters because um, they are uh, hunted by by bad luck. That's just like me when I play 40k. I'm the lord of ones and twos. I mean, just ask um, Swiste here in our chat. I attacked one of his um, Orc Gorgonauts with uh, Seth. The thing had, I think, 10 HP left. Turn 3, Seth attacked, and um, I rolled for once in the hit roll. I re-rolled, and a 1 again, so I rolled 5 ones. I wounded 3 times, and it survived with 1 HP, or with 3 or something like that. And um, then he, f yeah, that fucked up my whole game. I should paint yellow armors, I guess, and check patterns on my shoulder, uh, my pauldrons. Okay, I'm painting the um, parchment now. Um, painting the parchment means I um, gave it a, a base of Carrick stone, and I am uh, highlighting the Carrick stone with uh, Pet of the Witch Flesh in three steps. And I'm always painting the parchment, uh, uh, the parchment, sorry, uh, from left to right. So um, no stripes from uh, top to bottom, because I want to give it some some you know, some texture of yeah, pergament or paper, if you want to call it like that. Uh, sure. Um, if you want to paint bone, uh, a good way to start with it is um, Zandri dust. For one, um, that's a little dark maybe, um, but a pretty pretty awesome start is um, Carrick stone always. Oh, sorry, I should hold it like that. Um, paint Carrick stone. Um, give it a wash with Agrix or shade, or with a skeleton hoard. That's great. Um, dry brush it, or just paint it again uh, with Carrick Stone. And from there on, um, start highlighting it with Carrick Stone mixed with... Oh, my favorite color here. Screaming Skull. Uh, until you are at uh, a pure Screaming Skull, and then um, just give it a small dry brush with, I don't know, white or something like that. 
That's pretty good. I mean, I can I can even make a, a small tutorial for bone armor. That's a thing of, of about 10 minutes, I think. Or bone. Oh, jeez. That was not good. Mm. Time to glue again. Yeah, those um, handles are a little instable. <laughs> nee, ich mache kein Live Workout. Uh, ich wollte es noch ein bisschen verdauen, mein Mittagessen, und dann wollte ich mich ins Workout machen, dass ich nachher nicht kotzen muss. Aber hi und willkommen hier im, uh, im Mal Channel. So, I painted the gold, um, I let it dry, I gave it a wash with um, Agrax Earthshade Gloss. If you don't have the Agrax Earthshade Gloss, you also can use the uh, Cryptek Armor Shade Gloss. And now I'll give it a new coat of gold with um, Retributor Armor again, only on the um, elevated points like that it gives this gold color a nice touch of depth and we also know um, where to highlight later on Um, no, I'm I'm not bilingual. I'm I'm just German, but I like English, and um, I I watch a lot of Netflix in English, <laughs> and my uh, audiobooks are English. I also speak a little French. Un petit peu, but not good. And no, sadly, not all Germans um, talk English. That's a problem from time to time. Especially in terms of memes. I mean, I steal my memes from um, MJG, as you might know. And they are English. And a lot of my friends don't understand them. That's, that's a problem. Because they are only funny if you know what is happening in the English, uh, English language in a lot of cases. Cause I meant um, I'm not stealing, I'm borrowing memes. <clears throat> A Latin is great for Warhammer. I mean, um, Gothic is um, almost Latin. It's um, like Latin if it was cool. <laughs> um, little other grammar and um, yeah, some words are different, I guess. My brother is learning Latin too, or learned for um, his um, 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 studies. So, yeah, I know what you mean. Okay, time for my special brush with a curve in the end, because I want to paint around a corner where I just broke my Terminator. Idiot me. And that should be the last time I use this brush, because I think... I know. 
My super glue was dry. Okay. I don't think your English is bad. I mean, the thing is, um, you you should be able to communicate, and you definitely are. And in the videos um, I saw so far, um, there was absolutely okay. So, not a problem. I mean, the main problem um, of other languages like um, German uh, it, or French, in this case, um, is the pronunciation because you are um, you're born into another pronunciation. A sort of pronunciation. Like, we Germans always have to talk like this, in the opinion of others. And uh, French people are always talking um, with this French accent. But it shouldn't be a problem, I mean, you still understand it, don't you? And yes, time traveling and Latin would be great because if you speak Latin um, in old Europe, you're automatically either a um, priest or something like that, or um, a scholar. And that means um, you'd have good chances to survive longer than one day. <laughs> okay, uh, where was I? I just painted the parchment, yeah. And now I think I have to paint. Yes. I'll take Galvorbeck red, which is actually not, not really that red. Oh, come on. I'll go for wet bedroom and pink horror. And I'll paint the wax seals now with these colors. Um, the screamer pink first. Well, Woodbury, normally we do talk like that, but we don't want to get um, caught by the Americans that we are still in the German Reich. No, sadly, or luckily, we don't all talk like that, mostly. But I really enjoy um, watching movies, just like um, Inglourious Bastards and um, their pronunciation of German words. And especially in Inglourious Bastards, they, they really took some Germans and made them talk German. And it sounded natural. In other movies, it's American actors trying to talk German and that it just sounds wrong most of the time. Oh yeah, uh, for the guys of you who don't know Mada, Mada is a French painter. Um, I know him from um, Instagram. He's the Lord of Eldar. So, give his profile a look. It's called Mada Wargaming. I can share a link later on on my stories. And Stephen Bates here is a musician that I also know from Instagram. He's also doing the same fitness stuff I do. Um, give him a look too. He's German too, by the way. Yeah, the French talking in uh, by Americans gives me 
nightmares in, I mean, I'm German. <laughs> Um, I mix the uh, Screamer Pink and the Pink Hellraw in 50-50 and applied it as a um, edge highlight on the uh, the wax seals. Now I'm using the Your Color and just stippling it across the wax seal um, on the upper edges again. like that and now comes the fun part um i'll let that dry um now i'll take the contrast paint oh, oh i should start my yeah my laptop was dying sorry um i'll take contrast um We'll turn is pink. Oh, sorry. Turn is Volupus well, pink. Mix it with um, not Lamia medium, but uh, with contrast medium. About 50 50. So it gets a or becomes a wash. Just like that. And I'll apply that on the wax seal too. So. A small wax wash if you want so done and done then I realize I painted a small blue dot on my red armor I have to correct this done okay the good thing is um now that i am or that i already mixed the um volupus pink i can use it to draw small uh, letters on the parchment i use my 10 zero brush for that and i get rid of this so you won't be able to see this because i need a strange sort of and position to do that. Ich bin müde, yeah? That works. Ich bin müde. In that case, I don't think you have the U with um, the dots on it. An E, let's paint an I there. Or just a crippled spot thing, and I think an S over there. And because I can, a T. Or an F, F is better. Okay, so now I mix some black. I still have my wet palette with a lot of water. And I paint the stripes there to make it look like there are written words. This works pretty good if you're just stippling the black color on the parchment. Or if you're painting um, small lines, it works too, I guess. I'm a friend of stippling. So it looks like actual letters. I need the handle again, like that.
Now come on, color. Okay, that's it. So focus camera focus yeah the parchment looks like that now in the front it looks like that all that is left to do now is um, the lenses on the top i guess because i don't see what else i should be painting um the lenses on the top and later on the lightning across the claws or along the claws um, I'll be making a special video for this lightning because it's a um, special effect and I wanted to do this in a, in a um, single video but I can paint the lens there. Don't paint, uh, paint them in any color. I, I'll take a look at my Terminator Captain and the lenses here I painted green so I'll be painting them green too I guess. Um, I can stay with a small brush here. Um, colors I use for the green are Caliban green, uh, Mood green, and Yeriel yellow. At first, I'll paint a small dot of the Caliban green on the lenses. Yeah, I mean, if you if you want to look um, look up the lightning video and you have to scroll through um, one and a half hours of a shit talk in German, it's annoying. So um, I'll be making a a lightning video. See you, Mara. Have fun. Okay, with a small brush, I apply the green, or I already apply the green. Now I start mixing uh, the Kelvin green with um, the mood green using water or spit in my case. Water of course. And I'm doing the same as I already did um, on the lenses on his plate ma um face plate, sorry. Even more. Now I'll use water. It's no problem if you're using too much water. It's just it gives you possibility to to move the drop that. Um. That will appear there and um, the final position of the drop will be um, the position where the most pigments are so that's the lightest part of your paint job in the end and it's the brightest part not the lightest part always the same mistakes Okay, using the yellow now for a final dot in the lower corner, like that. And one dot of pure yellow. Okay, so going to the light reflexes. I'm always doing the same, or mostly. I'm just taking a small amount of um, white scar and dot the upper corner on two points. 
Ja, come on. Okay. And because I am me, and that means I correct this little mistake with some Kelvin green again. And that's it. So the lenses are painted. Focus camera, focus. And with that, the mini is almost complete. What I'm doing now is applying uh, grass ducts and snow. Um, For grass tufts, I'll be using um, the grass tufts by Army Painter. No, that's not the Army Painter grass tufts, it's the wrong one. There. Yeah, like I said, the Army Painter grass tufts, they come on a small batch of paper like that. You need tweezers. I think I'll be applying two, and I don't want them to look all the same. They, yeah, they should be self-gluing. Um, from experience, I know they are not. Or they are, but they're good. Stop licking my arm. Um, that means I'll be cutting them a little smaller, and I'll be applying them with uh, super glue. So. Let's see, I think we'll be getting one of the tufts right here. I'll be applying one tuft right here. And I think one in between the legs. Yes, so we need actually three points. It stop. Okay, that's the outer part. Ja, danke schön. Ja. Und viel Spaß beim Workout. Wenn du deins dann machst oder wenn du schon gemacht hast. Okay. So, I applied the super glue right on the tuft. And now I'm applying the tuft. Just like that. That's okay. Um, the second tuft will go there. I have to get it a little smaller. Just a small triangle. I think like that, yeah. Super glue and get it on. It's okay here. Not a problem if you're um, gluing it across a stone or something like that, because later on there will be snow too, maybe. And number three, I said I want to apply it right there. That means cutting again. Another small triangle. Some super glue.
thing with this um, grass tufts is uh, just take a look at um, the grass itself. Uh, it shouldn't be growing sort of in every direction. Just get away those parts that are standing in your way to a good mini and make uh, most of the grass look upwards. Just like that. Okay, here we go. So, that's what's left. I'll be using this for my small dude there. Guy is allowed to dry for now. Um, I'll give him a small dry brush with Carrack Stone on his base. Painting two minis again at the same time. Shame on me. First color of the dry brush is Carrack Stone, like always on my earth basis. And nope, that's not a mini you can buy by a games workshop. Or you actually can. It's um, one of the guys um, from the Age of Sigma uh, Luminarium, this big solar gun thing of the Empire. And I kind of rebuilt him. Okay, so this gets a highlight of Screaming Skull. Eh. Stop the licking. Okay. Clean. And time for tufting. It's a small base, so I'm going for two tufts. Should be enough for him. Uh, number one is going, I think, somewhere there. Yeah, that, that looks good there. And number two, the bigger one, is going right in front of him, like this. And again, getting rid of those grass parts that are not looking like you want them. Just rip them off with the tweezers. Okay. Let's... The fuck. I think that should be it for the Blood Brawl, carrying the Chainsword. And also, almost, also um, for the Terminator. In terms of the Terminator, I'll take a little special here. So his base is flat down there. I should be able to just glue one of my magnet fields or bases right under him so I can transport him later on. Um, I do that with super glue actually. Yeah, I'm still trying to find out when the um, best time is to. Uh, or when grandmas, what the fuck? Um, I'm still trying to uh, trying to find out the best times to screen uh, to stream. So sorry. <laughs> and 
like that. Okay, so it's no beauty, but it's magnetic. I'll be streaming later on too, so um, and there's still the uh, the lightning on the claws to do. So maybe you can catch up there. Yeah, you're, you're absolutely welcome. I, I love hearing um, them that I inspired people for flesh tears or for painting or something. That's it's just great. So I have to thank you. And like I said, I'll take bed on black now. Abbot on black, I mean, and um, paint the rim. The brush is pretty broken, but. I don't give a damn. Just the rim, no details. Uh, they're needing a smaller brush there, I see. This brush is pretty fucked up. It really is. Okay, so... Number one. Black base rim, done. Number two. Chapter serve, base rim. By the way, I'm using um, a special website to keep track of my um, projects and to paint them all. And um, this website is actually made by Ben Bailey. It's called um, pileofpotential.com. What? Okay. Let me show you what my cat did. Say hi. Actually, the pot for my plastic shit should be in there. Okay, so um, that is done. The uh, base rim has to dry now. And um, the only thing that is to do by then is uh, the lightning on the clothes. Actually, there's one thing. One more thing I can do right now. Um, I'll again take my size zero brush. I'll take my Agrax shade. I knew there was something I forgot. And I also take some contrast medium. Mix it 50-50. Just like that. And now um, I'll shave the parchment. That's the thing I wanted to do about 20 minutes ago. And forgot it three times in a row. So yes, I'm shaving the parchment right after I painted all the, um, the lettering and stuff. And that just makes it look a little more um, old and um, rhymed, if you want to say it like that, I think. Again. Okay. Weathered. That's what I was searching for. So, Archman has to dry. In that time... I'll take some Corvus Black, make a lovely tip, and repaint the parts here of the, or the soft parts of the armor that I just destroyed when dropping the Terminator. 
So more like minor corrections. It's too much. As you might see now, um, by applying the magnets on the base, I can actually stick the mini on my um, handle thing here uh, with the metal without anything touching its base rim when it's drying. What is pretty nice. Okay, let me just get it a little more white. Now I'm just mixing the Corvus Black with some lighter color, uh, in this case with um, Screaming Skull, to make it a or to give it a um, brownish back tone, you can say. Looks more rubbery, in my opinion. Um, with the old one, you mean um, the black and red stuff? Black and red is always better. Um, I I don't like this um, dark greenish or this Caliban greenish tone. That's just not, I don't know, not my jam. If you want to put it like that. But... Actually, sadly, I have to say, um, Dark Angels are not my jam. I mean, I like um, the lion, I like big parts of the fluff, but I don't like Dark Angels as they are at the moment. I can't even say why they love Plasma that much, it's just strange. For me, at least. Okay, so that's it. Now the stuff is dry um, and I have to work out and that means I'll be back after my workout. So see you in one and a half hours or something like that for painting the special effect on, on the claws. Just to show you all oh, cute though. Come here. Just to show you um, what we did today. Give me a second. Or oh, what we did in the stream is the Terminator. Okay, that's too bright. Hmm. Maybe this one. Don't lick me. Uh, the Terminator. If it focuses someone. Yeah, come. Okay. So we did this. Stop licking my arm. And get off. I also made the last parts for this mini here. Focus. Focus. Yes. Chapter Surf or Black Thrall. 
He'll be a um, ammonium chirrup later on. One for my um, devastator squads, if I ever use one. Okay, so see you then. Thanks for tuning in, and um, have a good one, I guess.